This video is going to be a race against the sun because she does not want to stay out any longer. Give me like 30 minutes, please. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Hannah and today we're going to go back to like 2014 and do the booktube newbie tag. I have already posted some like bookish type videos on this channel, but hey, I'm still new. We can still do this. So without further ado, let's get into the first question, which is why did you start this channel? For a number of reasons. First of all, for literally probably seven years now, I've wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I've just never, number one, had the time. I studied dance full time in high school, so didn't have a life. And number two, I just never really knew what type of content I wanted to create. But after breaking my four year reading slump and watching booktube for the past couple of months, I was like, hey, why not this? I, growing up, was always like very into fandoms. I was on Tumblr, I was even on Wattpad. Anyways, but I've always just been really into stories and storytelling, whether it's books, movies, TV shows, whatever. And so like I had a blog on Tumblr a couple of years back where I could kind of talk about the things that I was obsessed with. But now that I've closed that chapter in my life, I really wanted to find another place where I could just kind of rant about the things that I like and, you know, still keep my friends around without boring them to death. I've also always loved video editing. I'm part of a dance crew called Cypher Dance Crew. And if you've seen any of our videos on the channel, I have edited a lot of them. Um, pretty much all of the vlogs that we have at the end of our videos on that channel I have edited. And I've always gotten feedback from our audience on that channel and also from my friends that they really like the way that I edit videos um, and they like the way that I put them together and structure them. So I thought, why not try that out on my own channel? And the last reason is because I want to track my reading in this way. I think it's super fun having like kind of this visual journey where I can look back in a couple of years and remember the first times I read certain books how I felt about them, maybe my opinions will change over the years. I just think that'd be really, really cool to look back on. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Well, first of all, I'm about as straight as a curly straw, so I think that I can probably contribute to the LGBT plus side of book talk. And I've always really loved analyzing the way that queer people are represented and portrayed in media and film. So I'd be really interested to explore that in books as well. I'm also just now realizing that I look very lesbian today. That was unintentional. I've also always been really interested in writing. I would jump at literally any chance that I got to do a creative writing piece in school. And so I have a real like deep appreciation for writing and language. And so maybe that's something I can share on this channel too. What are you most excited for about this new channel? This is gonna be such a basic answer, but literally just being able to express my love for books. Like I know that's so obvious starting a booktube channel, but like I really would love a space to do that. I'm also really excited to hopefully be able to build a community on this channel and meet people within the booktube sphere. Online community is something that has always been really important to me. It was a big part of my teenage years. It was where I met some of my best friends during my teenage years because I could finally find people who like the same things as I did. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to hopefully make friends on here where we can just scream at each other all day about books. When did you start reading? Bro, I have been reading since I even learned to read. I am very lucky that my parents just kind of shoved books at me when I was a kid. And throughout primary school and for most of high school, I was like a very consistent reader. The only time that I haven't been consistent in my reading has been the last four years. And that four year reading slump hit hard. I have already made a video on that on my reading slump. So go check it out if you want to. But yeah, basically I've been reading since forever. I can't remember a time I wasn't reading. What books or series got you into reading? I don't think there was a particular book or series that got me into reading. The earliest I can remember is reading this collection of classics that my parents bought for us. I actually have a few on my bookshelf. Hang on, let me go get them. It was these ones, although I'm pretty sure there used to be five of them. I think it was like Treasure Island and Little Woman as well. I don't know where they have gone. I'm pretty sure these are abridged versions because they look like it, but my parents basically read these classics to my sister and I when we were young, you know, start them on the intellectual snobbery early. I'm kidding. If you see me reading a classic these days, um, give me a high five because that's intimidating. The only other series that I can kind of remember was The Roman Mysteries by Caroline Lawrence. That definitely started my love of mystery books. A family friend of ours recommended them to us and there were like 18 books in that series. And I don't know how I read them all, but I love them. And so for a good portion of primary school, I read basically a lot of mysteries. I, do you guys remember Geronimo Stilton? The book about the detective mouse, that was funny. Oh, and also Tintin. 
Yes, that was a great adventure mystery. Asterix Noblex and Tintin got me into reading graphic novels and comics. Oh, you know what? I'm just remembering Enid Blyton. That's probably where my love of fantasy started. But yeah, it was basically a combination of books. Why do you love reading? This question is so cruel. How do I even begin to explain? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna take a moment to get all sappy on you. Are you ready? Books have got me through some of the most difficult times in my life. That is so sappy, I'm so sorry. No, but for real, when I started high school, I started at a full-time dance school in year seven. I was like 12. And that year I read The Lord of the Rings and the book and the movie franchise, they were like my one escape from the stress of dance that year. And then when I read Harry Potter and The Hunger Games and anything else that I read over that time, they, yeah, they definitely really helped me get through the everyday stress of dance, which was really crushing. I was definitely a fan of escapism and forgetting my problems and disappearing into fictional worlds, which was great, but also maybe not that healthy. <laughs> but yeah, regardless, books were always a constant in my life ever since I was a kid. And that's why this last four years not reading consistently, it's always felt like there's been something missing. And also nothing inspires my creativity like books and stories. And as a dancer, someone who works in the performing arts industry, my career kind of depends on my creativity. So it's very important that I have a source of inspiration for that. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? I have so many favorite booktubers. How do I pick? Okay, I'll just say a couple that come to mind. Um, Katie Coulson, how are you so funny? I don't understand. And also, how do you create such like consistent but entertaining content? Girl, witchcraft. Anyways, Jack Edwards, how do you read so fast? It's kind of scary. With Cindy, I would like to know where you get your wit and confidence from because I need some of that. And books with Emily Fox, please teach me how to read long ass fantasy books because I really want to but I'm a little bit scared. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? I think for me personally, consistency. I'm gonna be studying dance full time again next year. I'm getting my diploma in professional dance and also my cert for in dance teaching and management. So I'm gonna be really busy next year. <laughs> but like I said, books and stories really inspire my creativity. And also I know that I am happiest when I have a place to express my hobbies because dance was my hobby but now it's like the thing that i'm studying and my career so i have like the hobby of reading and in order for me not to get super hyper focused on dance and get stressed about it i need to have a place to express my hobby and so that's what i'm hoping this will be so that i can have like a more balanced outlook on life and so while i know it will be a struggle to be consistent next year i'm really going to try prioritize it because i really feel like it would be good for my soul and good for my happiness. Where do you read? Um, in my bed, <laughs> pretty much. Actually, the last couple of weeks, I have been out and about a lot more with dance practices. We're out of lockdown now, thank God. But it does mean that I've been commuting on the train a lot more and waiting around in the city in between dance practices. So I've definitely tried to fit in some reading in that time as well. I'm getting used to blocking out the background noise. <laughs> what kind of books do you like to read? Oh mate, everything. When I was younger, like I said, I read a lot of like adventure and mystery, but I've also always really loved fantasy, magical realism, sci-fi. But as I've been reading a lot more lately, I've been kind of exploring new genres that I don't usually read in, like contemporary fiction. I'm starting some horror books soon. I'm gonna go back to some mysteries, maybe some thrillers. I'm very excited to try out all these genres that I feel like I've kind of missed out on over the last four years. I did read a lot of dystopia at one point when The Hunger Games was really popular, but I think it's gonna have to take a really good book to make me get back into dystopia now. But for some reason, fantasy is always one thing that has been consistent. I really don't think I'll ever get tired of fantasy. I just, ugh, I absolutely love it. And those are all the questions. So I hope this was fun for you. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope it kind of gave you a little bit more insight into my reading tastes and what you might expect from this channel. And I'm really excited to be here. Like I'm really excited for making videos. So hopefully I can meet some of you guys in the comments and we can start a little community. I think that'll be fun. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you liked it, make sure that you like it. And if you want to subscribe, I'm going to be coming out with a lot more book content and a couple more kind of life things, um, maybe some dance things, but throughout all of it, Books will be a big part of it. Don't worry. So hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.
to the person driving around my house making a racket to the point where I have to refilm some of these segments, come fight me.